last class we discussed about the different type of uh, testing strategies for uh, web app applications and uh, object oriented programs and um, conventional software next we have to move into the the art of debugging topic in the art of debugging debugging is the systematic process of identifying analyzing and fixing bugs in the software debugging occurs as a consequence of successful testing occurs a, as a consequence of successful testing this is when a test case uncovers an error debugging is the process that results in the removal of the error then debugging is the process of removal uh, of the error in the context of software engineering debugging is the process of fixing the bugs in the software in other words identifying analyzing and removing errors okay then the debugging process involves uh, steps different steps that is first of all the problem identification and uh, report preparation assigning the report to software engineer to defect to verify that is genuine and defect analysis using modeling documentation finding and testing candidate flows etc and defect resolution by making the required changes to the system validation of corrections these are the different techniques of debugging process the debugging is considered to be complex and time consuming process since it is attempt to remove errors at all the levels of testing to perform the debugging debugger or debugging tool is used to reproduce the conditions in which the failure occurred examine the program state and locate the cause with the help of debugger programmers trace the program execution step by step and halt the execution whenever required to reset the program variables note that some programming language package includes a debugger for checking the code for errors while it is being written the debugging strategies the debug the study of the system for the larger duration in order to understand the system it helps the debugger to construct different representations of the system to be debugging depend on the need study of the system is also done actively to find the re recent changes made to the software then a background analysis of the problem which involves tracing the program backward from the location of failure message in order to identify the region of faulty code a detailed study of the region is conducted to find the cause of defect the forward analysis of the program involves tracing the program forward using break points or point statement at a different points in the program and studying the result the region where the wrong output are obtained in the region that need to be focused to find the defect using the past experience of the software debug the software with the similar problems in nature the success of this approach depends on the expertise of the debugger and there are different debugging tools is there uh, the debugging tools is, is a computer program that is used to test the debug other uh, programs a lot of public domain ensures like jdb dbx are available for debugging they offers console based command line interfaces automated debugging tools includes the code based tracers profiles and interpreters etc then the difference between the debugging and text testing then debugging is the different from testing testing focus on the finding error bugs and errors etc where the debugging starts after the bug and after the fixing of bugs has been identified in the software 
testing is used to ensure that the program is correct and it was supposed to do with a certain minimum success rate the testing can be manual or automated there are several different types of testing like unit testing integration testing alpha and beta testing debugging requires a lot of knowledge the skills and expertise which can be support, supported by some automated tools and available but it more of manual process as very bug in different and requires a different techniques unlike a predefined testing mechanism then the following characteristics of the uh, bugs generally makes the debugging a difficult task uh, whenever the symptoms and the cause may be geographically remote and that is the symptom may appear in one part of the program while the cause may actually be located at the site that is far distant highly coupled component uh, version this situation the symptoms may disappear temporarily when other uh, other another error is corrected and the uh, symptoms may actually be caused by not if uh, we are correcting any other the uh, any other errors will be corrected automatically that will uh, cause some problems and the symptoms may actually be caused by non errors that uh, these are all the different debugging process actually debugging is the process of uh, finding the errors and the correcting the errors it's having the defect solution is having and uh, in the case of debugging process first the defect uh, confirmation or identification is occurred and the defect analysis is occurred and the defect resolution is also occurred okay that's all about the debugging process and next we have to move into the software maintenance